So for our viewing audience, uh, briefly tell us who you are. Well, my name is Amber Terrell, and I'm a veteran educator. I have 15 years of experience. I started out as a social studies instructor. I've taught every social studies course that I am certified to teach. Then I moved over to CTAE. I taught marketing and business education and computer science. And now I'm a brand new media specialist at Columbia High School. So why uh, a teacher librarian? What, what made you want to go into the library? Well, actually, I was a very successful teacher. My students had high achievement scores. My students were always engaged. My evaluations were always superior. And I wanted to share the things that I was doing in my classroom for success with other teachers. So really I was applying for all sorts of positions and I saw a librarian post or media specialist post and the way that I saw that position was it was a traditional library position but I believe that that position is changing. So I applied for it and decided to make it my own. So how does your style differ from most teacher librarians especially when dealing with technology? Well most teacher librarians see technology as a research tool and I see technology as a production tool. Um, our school district recently created the Digital Dreamers Initiative where every student re received their own laptop. How important was that initiative? That initiative is very important because in a digital age, you need a device to research and produce. So we have students who have cell phones, we have students who have tablets, but a computer has a different power and a different capability to allow for research and production. So it's important that every student receive that type of device. Um, how do you envision uh, school libraries within the next 10 years? In the next 10 years, I see the current media center that we have with books in the center. Right now we have computers in the center, and I believe we need to put the books in the center because we need to understand that when you come into a media center, you should be accessing text. So we need to put the books back in the center. But we also need to realize that the periphery of the media center will be for production. So you will access that text to get your research, but then we need more space for students to produce with devices. And, and finally, uh, what would you say to those that say technology is killing the traditional library? I would say that that is definitely not true. People have more access to information because of technology. What we need to do in the media center or the library is teach students and teachers and the community how to access valid information.